Donald Trump held a campaign rally in New Hampshire today, and during his speech, he brought up a new subject of Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders. I happen to have recorded it for you, so I'm going to post it to my website or my YouTube channel, and I hope you enjoy it. They're not really incompetent. They are lobbyists. Their special interests. When somebody gives Hillary, you know, $10 million and $5 million or $2 million and they're on Wall Street and, you know, she's trying to go back a little bit. She's trying to go to the left a little bit because she's got this whack job, this wacko named Bernie Sanders. He was telling people, well, Trump and I have some of the same people. I don't think there's too many Bernie Sanders people. Right? Well, we have a, a few different, although he does agree that we're getting ripped off in trade. That's one thing I'll say. The one thing I agree with, he's very strong. You know, he feels we're getting ripped. The problem is he can't do anything about the rip off. He won't be able to do anything. I'm really good at that stuff. That's what I do. But, you know, the one big thing, he wants to double and triple your taxes and give everybody everything free, and you're going to pay for it. Your taxes are going through the roof. You can't do it. You can't do it. And I'm cutting your taxes down very, very low. You saw my tax plan. Cutting it. cutting it way down. We're cutting business taxes down. We're cutting all of them down. So I can't imagine this guy has a chance. But I heard yesterday he's trying to get some of my people. And I said, I don't know. Is he talking about the same people that I'm talking about? I don't think so. So anyway, but he wants to do massive, massive, massive tax increases. And people don't talk about that. And Hillary Clinton doesn't talk about it. And the reason I'm talking about it, I think, you know, and I'm saying this, and I really mean it. She does, she does not mean it when she talks about Trump. It was, it was so funny today where they said, actually, I think, you know, maybe she's not wanting Trump so badly. But, but I will tell you, and I'm telling you this very strongly. First of all, she has committed a criminal act. A criminal act. What she did with the emails is criminal, according to every single person that I've met that knows this stuff. And, and not just in one, and Benghazi also, although Benghazi was different. Benghazi, she was too lazy to answer phone calls. Remember her commercial about the phone ringing at night? Guess what? She didn't answer it. She didn't answer it. Did you see where the ambassador sent 700 or 500 calls in? Emails, everything. And yet, she spoke to a friend many times, but they, had, they, they saw they were in trouble. And many, many emails were coming, and she never even responded. And remember that commercial, it was a pretty famous commercial. Who do you trust at night? Obviously, they didn't trust her because Obama, her. Can I say the word? Obama, I won't. By the way, that word, that's a common word in New York, and it means to be beaten badly. I won't give the press any more fun with it. And by the way, also, NPR, okay, National Public Radio, one of the most revered MCs, uh, political people, one of the most revered, used it. And he used the exact same word, even the ED at the end. For him, it was okay. For Trump, it's horrible. But what it means is to be beaten dead. I mean, that's what it means. I guess it has other meanings, but it means, and what I meant, is to be beaten badly. I won't use it again today. We don't want to make that the story. We want to make other things the story. 